welcome back to the vlog channel and thanks so much for watching um so when you are watching this it actually will be tuesday but it is sunday right now sunday the 21st i think um sam is mountain biking right now with his uncle he has like not been in the past like three or four vlogs and i tell him all the time i'm like people are gonna think you're gone like they're gonna think you're not here and i'm just making you up but he's just, he works from home and his job, he like sits at his desk all day. And so then when he's done working, he's like, I wanna get up, I wanna move, I wanna go out. Um, so although I like see him all day, you guys don't. Cause I also can't like, he's in a legal department. So I can't like go in and like vlog with him even when he's like just chilling, doing something that's not that important because there's legal stuff involved. So anyway. Well, that and you know he's he's working, so you can't really be vlogging while someone's working. But today is a prep day. We are it's Sunday, and so tomorrow is start a new week. So I use Sundays as a recharge time. I'm gonna clean the house. I'm gonna vacuum. I just saw my husband left a lovely mess all over the stove last night. We kind of just went our own for dinner last night. I was like, I'm not super hungry. I'm gonna eat a small snack. You make what you want. He made a big meal and left me a lovely mess. Um, I have to plan out my week. We have to take vlog content later. But this little thing right here is about to get completely organized. So that currently is a hodgepodge of things. It holds a ton of snack. It is not the greatest organized little situation, but it's just such so chaotic that I was gonna get in there and organize it anyway. And then I was like, you know what? I might as well just make it like a little smoothie station for me. I make smoothies somewhere else. But I have so much stuff for my smoothies now because I love making them every single day. All different kinds with all different ingredients. So I was like, I need to just like put all my stuff in there. So that is what this is gonna be. I'm gonna clean it all out, uh, make it super organized, and that's gonna be that. But I got some Amazon packages in I wanted to share. Also, I have to respond to my mother because she just texted me and I realized she is, um, Sam's gonna get his hair cut by her today. My mother is like a jack of all trades and she can cut hair actually quite amazing. Um, so she cuts my husband's hair usually, but this robe is like, makes me look so homeless, but it is so comfortable. <laughs> all right, so I think these might be my straws. I have found, so I got rid of a bunch of plastic straws like last year. Um, and people always, when I talk about like going natural, getting rid of plastic, things like that, they get so hot and be like, well, what did you do with it? You don't need to get rid of that. That's bad for the environment. I'm like, well, one, I recycle. Two, I'm not gonna just keep a bunch of plastic and not use it. So chill out, Karens. It's, it's fine. When I get rid of plastic things, I recycle them, okay? But I threw away so much stuff that we actually were running low. And I've been realizing now that I make smoothies every day, I'm like, I don't have enough straws to drink my smoothies every day. And um, I feel like I drink slower, if that's even a thing, when I have straws versus when I don't. So I bought these glass straws. And my husband is probably gonna like gag when he sees them. He has said before, like he doesn't know how I drink from like metal straws and I'm like well do you bite your straws like I don't bite mine um so I can imagine that using a glass straw he will feel the exact same way but it came with a four pack or eight pack so it has four of these little bent straws of course I got them from Amazon and then it's got four straight straws these are actually my favorite I don't know why I think it's just because like straight straws don't like when you put your cup down a bent straw kind of usually like takes a lap around the cup and makes a mess at least in my experience so the straight straws are a little bit better. Got these four and it also comes with um, two of these little things, but now that we use only reusable straws, even before when we were using like plastic straws and we were using silicone straws, all of that, we have, they're still reusable. We haven't used disposable straws in probably like, probably two, three years. Seriously, it's been super long. The other thing I bought is this really cute shirt. I got it off of Amazon. I love it. It says beautiful, capable, worthy. Cause you are. I love that. So I'm going to wash that. Um, but I'm gonna make my smoothie. I'm gonna get cleaning out this. It's so bad. I'm gonna show you guys it before. It is, it's just bad. So bad. You know what? I need to actually finish off this bag. I have like that much fruit left in this bag. So I gotta finish this one. So I'm gonna do that. But I just hear like if you put something that has high sugar content, like bananas 
or mangoes. Um, you should put something that balances out. So flaxseed, let me grab that. I think you can also put chia seeds. I am probably gonna put both because I really love chia seeds and I love their benefits, but this is the flax seed I'm gonna use. I've got chia seeds. These, I'm gonna use these. I'll link the ones I bought below. I just put them in a little glass container because they were in a plastic container. So this is the Amazing Grass Green Superfood. I like this one a lot. So this is a organic one, non-GMO, plant-based, no sugar added, gluten-free. This one's good, but I actually, in researching, heard a lot better things about this one. So this is the Purely Inspired Organic Greens with a Superfood Blend. Um, this one's unflavored. This one is disgusting unless you mix it with something. So I don't know. I'm trying out a few different ones. I think that, you know, as long as you're getting greens in your diet like it's not a huge deal but there's a seal on the inside of this one too yeah there is i'm gonna use a little bit of greek yogurt today because i really like a thick smoothie i'm gonna do kale and celery so not this isn't super different from my usual smoothie recipe um except for that i'm adding in the celery and these two usually i'll, I'll just link it below I'll put everything in the description bar. I'm gonna be using my big blender today. I don't think that all this stuff is gonna fit in my little single serve cup. So I've got my big blender. I've got a little over a cup of berries in there because I wanted to just finish out the bag. So I'm gonna put that in there. Also need probably add a little bit of water. I'm gonna be honest, this one looks a little chunky. Not sure, I mean, I literally just like threw stuff in. Like I was just like, oh, it looks good, let's try it. The flaxseed, it was, that's what made yesterday's smoothie super, um, super chunky too. All right. It's actually really, really good. You can taste the celery in it. I'm convinced that anytime you add celery to something, you're gonna be able to taste it. A little bit chunky but it's really really good I, I probably won't do that again i'm probably going to find some recipes and like actually follow them but i mean i don't know it's sunday you know just do what you gotta do okay so inside this ridiculous cabinet it's actually tearing up i've told sam whenever we move and build like this cabinet will not come with us it's been we got it from target and i mean it's affordable it, it was like on i think it might have been just over 100 bucks maybe you guys it is not not been great so if if you want something short term and it's like cheap this is great but it is very low quality it scratches easy it dents easy so just know that because i'm sure i'll get asked where it's from but i don't recommend it so this is what it looks like in here unnecessary so this is the first thing that i think can go because this was sam's lunchbox for when he i'm actually gonna sit right here and sort of hold that door open um for when he went to the office but he's been home working from home for like a year so and they're not going back to his company for a while so that can go somewhere else um all of this is animal stuff so we like to keep this in here like we've got a teeny tiny bit of catnip left like animal medicine stuff like that so this will stay in here even though it's not the most organized because I mean, and this isn't even all their stuff. Like I pretty regularly need Sasha's asthma medication. Um, so that'll stay in here, but all this other stuff, it has got to go.
Okay, much better. So I do still have, like I said, the cat stuff over here. Um, decaf coffee pods go there. And then all of our like tea stuff. We got this little disposable cups off Amazon because there was like so many times we wanted to drink tea in the afternoon, didn't want to wash a cup, but wanted something that was like still we could recycle. Um, so the cups are recyclable. This is Sam's Gatorade powder and then um, Gatorade mix along with the liquid IV mix we use. Peanuts back there. Box of the popcorn here. And then these are like snacks, things that I get from Thrive Market. Um, but also like my turmeric powder, um, the flaxseed trail mix, extra raspberry leaf tea. I don't actually need that. I'm like coming off my period now so like I won't really need that till next month um so I'm gonna put it back there and then I keep this in here that's just kind of how it's all organized it looks so much better all right guys so now I'm going to start vacuuming I omg I need to shave my legs but I'm gonna work out that's kind of what I gotta do today before I get ready and like shower and all the things so I'm gonna work out and I guess we will check in with you guys later. Um, okay, so another smoothie. I'm gonna kind of modify the one I've been doing. Yesterday's smoothie was a little crazy. I added a lot of stuff in. And part of this whole smoothie thing that I'm on, like I want it to be simple. I don't want it to be a 12, 15 ingredient smoothie. Um, although this seems like a lot. So I'm currently using this in every smoothie I make because I wanna get rid of it. Like I have had it for a while. Um, but I've got other things I want to add in, so I am going to add in this today. Not always going to do that. I've got kale, celery. I'm going to add in collagen peptides, see if I can taste those. My barleens, a little bit of pineapple juice, and some mangoes. Um, it is going to be very sweet, but like I still do prefer a relatively sweet smoothie, so we'll see. I'm gonna try and kind of like back off on the fruit as time goes. So we're starting out with half a cup of mangoes today. But I've tried storing kale and other things. It's just best to wash it and put it back in its bag, honestly. It, it just eats same with celery. It just gets all over the place. <laughs> So that's what we've got. That should be enough liquid. Liquid in there. Ooh, that is really good. Ooh, okay, that is really good. So, can't taste the col. I can taste the collagen. Ugh. Ugh. I can taste it, but it's not terrible. Um, but the celery pretty much overpowers everything except for a little bit of this. I find that no matter what I do, if I put this in a smoothie, this is the strongest taste and this stuff tastes so good. The other day when we were at Whole Foods, we found the section where they have their barleen stuff like stored. They have so many flavors and I've seen them on Thrive Market. I just, this was the first one I grabbed. So I'm kind of like, I like this one. Um, but they had like lime. I think they had a lemon flavor. So smoothies are probably the only way I'm going to be able to actually put collagen peptides into something because that's like, a, it's a little aggressive. Ooh, this hair. Hey guys, welcome back to the last day of content that I'm going to create because it is actually Tuesday when I'm filming this. Um, I look like crap. I just got out of the shower after working out. But I'm going to cut up this avocado. Are you smelling the door? You good? I'm gonna cut up this avocado and I just realized I probably could look it up on TikTok, but I've never cut one before. Hold on. And my mom let me borrow this little device. She says that basically like I can use this until I figure out how to cut an avocado because she said like she used this and then she realized you can cut an avocado with a knife and do all of the same things. So let's let's see. But actually I'm gonna watch a TikTok video first on this. And totally cut this avocado. Because I I'm a boss bitch and I can do anything. Although I think I need a knife. I don't know. It's supposed to be pretty soft, so you should be able to cut that plastic thing. So she said you cut off the end. Oh, that is really soft. Okay, and she said you stick it in the middle. Oh. Go all the way around. 
think I'm kind of missing the pit, but it's okay. And she said, turn it on its side. They can't even see what I'm doing. Holy crap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then, oh, I kind of squeezed it too tight, but look, <gasps> woohoo, sort of, sort of. For someone who's never cut an avocado, that's not that bad. Not terrible. Huh? Boom, oh babe, it's crooked. Oh, it's so crooked. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hold on. He's not awful. Yeah, like that was not bad. I Okay, so the first time I cut the an avocado, it like the whole thing was ruined, basically. Whole thing, entire thing. Did not get one out. All right. Voila. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna cut one more and show you. I'm gonna leave it here. So this is what it looks like. I feel like people are very particular about how they like avocados cut. They get mad when you cut them incorrectly. So if this is completely wrong, whatever, I am brand new. Okay, and then I'm gonna freeze. Yeah, I'm gonna freeze them in like little pieces because I saw that you can like freeze avocados and then put them in um, smoothies. So what she did was she cut off the end. And then she said she cut into the middle, cut all the way around, then turn it up on its side, cut again. So that's the part I'm not really getting the hang of, is that, <laughs> that part. All right, last day I am making my smoothies. Well, with you guys. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do avocado and banana today. This is disgusting. I could have told you ground up avocado was not gonna be good. No, avocado is pretty popular in smoothies, but this one's nasty. It's like lukewarm. I think if I would have done a different juice, it would have been better. Ooh, that's gross. I couldn't stomach that one. I had to go dump it out. I, it was so disgusting and like lukewarm. I think it was the almond milk mixed with the protein powder that wasn't a good combo. And if I would have put ice in there, I think it probably would have been a little bit better, but like there was just something about the taste of that thing that I could not, I could not do. So for this one, I kind of went with my regular recipe a little different. I did just mangoes this time. Um, I did my usual recipe with, except instead of regular frozen fruit, I did mangoes, the barleens, added maca powder, and then the kale. My dog's like losing his crap outside because the UPS man just pulled in and he is delivering something. I think we need to sign for it. This one's a little bit more normal. Oh yeah, that's good. The maca powder is a little bit bitter. Bad. Maybe it's, maybe it's that. Mm. Much better though. Not 